Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, us, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which we will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gap where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tarana! Once All again, right. good afternoon to everyone. I thought my microphone was already on. I'm very sorry about that. Anyway, happy Tuesday afternoon to you, Tutor Arnel. Happy Tuesday to Tutor Trezo. And, and yes, and I would like to greet everyone. A happy Teacher's Day. Wow. Oh, I almost you, forgot. Tutor Arnel. <laughs> yes, because we are in the pandemic and we're no, no longer remembering our special day. Maybe that's the reason why we're wearing red. It's right, our right. birthday today. <laughs> so let me greet all the teachers here. A happy Teacher's Day. And of course, that's to all right. the learners, please don't forget to greet your teachers. It's their special day. So let us now begin with our special Itulai online tutorial for Teacher's Day. Let me have mm -hmm. the screen. So um, today, uh, so let me again introduce myself. I am Tutor Drace, and with me is Tutor Arnell. Tutor and Arnell, are, hi. Yeah, we're both from SDO Pasig, and we are your guide for uh, this Tuesday. That's for English at 7. That's every 1.40 to 2.20 p.m. And we will be discussing lessons in English. As for this week, we will be discussing the simple past tense. Yes. Yes. And we would like to thank what particular provider for our module, Sir Arnel? All right. So we would like to thank, of course, our DepEd Central Office for our module for this afternoon. Yes. Thank you very much, the Central Office. And for our objectives, let us have the following. So at the end of the session, you will be able to let us start first with our cognitive or what or our knowledge development. So first, mm -hmm. you will be recalling important points from the previous le learning. Next, we're going to identify, of course, the simple past tense of the verb. And we're going to differentiate simple past tense from past perfect tense. Now, Sir Arnel, can you have the other objectives? Let's have the um, psychomotor objective. All right. For the psychomotor, let's have it. Create a greeting card using simple past tense. All right, this is exciting. And for the affective. <laughs> All right, for affective, we have demonstrate appreciation of inspiring individuals. Yes, uh, like what I have mentioned, it's going to be a very special tutorial session today because it's okay. about Teacher's Day. So That's let us right. now begin with our uh, tutorial session. So we will be starting off with our featured assignment for week mm, four. I always look forward be receiving, to this. <laughs> yes, he or she will be receiving the amazing badge for being an amazing student last week. And mm -hmm. he or she is none other than can you please read that, Sir Nell? All right. It's okay. Dylan Angelo B. Roque, right? So he will be receiving an amazing badge from Tudor Dresel. He's from grade 7, Abalon Mangahan High School. Yes. And this is his digital work. I really wow. got fascinated with his work because it's not really that much that grade 7 students would be doing digital mm. digital works, right? So most of our grade 7 students would really be submitting the manual or the traditional drawings. But in this case, he did an 
a digital drawing. So that is really mm -hmm. something for me. Aside from that, he really made good sentences. All are correct. So that's mm. a very good thing. You really are amazing. Mira. Amazing. That's very, very good. Okay. So let us now have a quick review. Sir Arnel, can you please help me out with this one? All right. So, so what let's were have the a past review. lessons? Okay. So the past lesson talked about the verb. All right, so it's about active and passive voice. A verb is an active voice if the subject is the doer of the action. So let's never forget that, students. And a verb in passive voice if the subject is the receiver of the action or the direct object. Yes, that's true. So let's have some more additional uh, information. If it's an active voice, this is how you will be presenting your sentence. The teacher presented the lesson. So as you can see, the verb is already highlighted. Mm -hmm. And then if it's passive voice from the sentence, the active voice, we will be making it now into a passive voice. So the sentence will be, the lesson was presented by the teacher. So right. the subject becomes the direct object. And the direct object is now the subject. So that is mm -hmm. how you will be changing the verbs. That's a quick guide for you. So you'll be able to answer the review for this afternoon. Now, this is what you're going to do. I have prepared here a video clip. Actually, that this is from YouTube. So mm -hmm. you watch the video clip carefully. And then I want you to construct just one sentence using active and another sentence using passive voice. And then we, we will also be identifying, of course, the voice of the sentence that you have created. So be ready yes. with your um, sentences, okay? Be ready with your sentences. Let us now mm -hmm. begin with the video clip. Wow. So a teacher is here also. Now you see the video clip. It's also an event in school. So let us now have our questions. First, what sentences did you write in active voice? Please jot it down on our comment section. Just give us one sentence in active voice about the clip or the video clip that you have uh, seen. While we are mm -hmm. waiting for that, let us first greet our viewers. We have um our usual grade 10 students are here from mangahan high school and then we also have students from baruya high school that's from mm -hmm. sdo pampanga and their teacher is miss maureen p carlos and we also have um students from uh, mangahan high school grade 7 abalone and um Yes, that's grade 7 Abalone. And there are also some students here from Buwayan District. That's as far as General Santos City. And we also have here um, Lynn Rivera from Becuran High School. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you can see that there are a lot of students here. And they are coming from different parts of the country. So we now have one sentence here from Mark Platon. The yes. boy is looking for someone's food, or the boy is looking at the food, okay? Mm -hmm. So let us have that. So that is an active voice because the boy is the subject and he is the doer of the action. Next, right. we have from John Michael Janko. His fellow students gave him food. That's also correct, right? It's an active voice. Right. And we also have... Um, 
His classmates gave him food. That's correct. And then we have the boys' classmates gave him a little bit of their food. So all these are active voice sentences. Very good. You still remember our lesson. Now, mm -hmm. Sir Arnel, can we have the second question, please? Can you please right. read it? Yes, Jerry Drazel, the second question is, what sentences did you write in passive voice? Okay, so let's now proceed with our passive voice sentences. So mm -hmm. while we're waiting, we are still being flooded with greetings That's from right. um, Clara De Castro. Hi, happy watching. And we <laughs> have also Mark Nathaniel Nonato. Okay, yes. and... Okay, we now have an answer here from Janet Patayon. A lunch is provided to the child. That's very, very good. That is really in passive voice because lunch is not the doer of the action. Next. Um, okay, there are still some here with active voice. So they are still uh, doing the active voice. Okay, mm -hmm. so from... Princess Haile Manuboy, Manubai, the food was received by the boy. Okay, right. That's also that's a, a good, good sentence. Example. Okay. And we also have from Angela Best, the food was given by his classmates. So mm -hmm. see, Sir Arnel, they learned something last week. Right. That's I'm so very, happy. Very <laughs> yes. That's a very good teacher's <laughs> gift for us. They that's learned. Correct. That's very, very good. So next, let us proceed with another activity. So I want you now to, we want you, I mean, to answer the given questions by writing complete and grammatically correct sentences. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let us have the following. First question. What did you do for Teacher's Day? Okay, mm. What did you do for Teacher's Day? Let us wait for their answers. You know, Tutor Arnel, we we are really missing uh, the usual way that our <laughs> students will be surprised. The surprises, every yeah. <laughs> yes, I was really while I was having my my breakfast this morning, I was really uh, reminiscing those days that I would mm -hmm. be receiving a surprise. Uh, not really about the gifts, but the letters, the greetings. But it's at least. They are still greeting us, but through messenger, right? That's correct. Yes, they are still greeting us. So are there answers now? Okay, have you already answered our question? What did you do for Teacher's Day? Mm, okay. I think they are so still have, typing yes, some answers. We now have here our first answer from Janet Patayan. I greeted my tutors on Teacher's Day. That's very good. <laughs> That's great. That's good. Okay. So that is the same thing with Daniel Luis Manalo Manala de la Cruz. I greeted the teachers a happy Teachers Day. It's also the same thing with Lizelle. Mm -hmm. And uh, from Princess, I gave my teachers a special message. That's very good, mm -hmm. right? And aside from that, of course, it's matipid, right? You don't That's really right. have to buy, <laughs> and your teachers will really appreciate that. Next, next question. Why do we have to appreciate our teachers? Mm. Why do we have to appreciate our teachers? Okay, now we have another uh, viewer here from Liano High School from SDO Kalookan. Now, according to Mark uh, Platon, Teacher's Day is the most important day for them because they are our second parents. Very good. Mm. Thank you for that. And from JM, during Teacher's Day, we usually greet and give thanks to our teacher by giving them gifts and surprises. But now we greet them through messenger. Yes, that's equally. Um, uh, I, we're equally thankful for that. And... Okay, from Isaac Newton. That's good. Today's Teachers Day, uh, Teachers Day is celebrated by us. Very good. From Luminoke Eunice, I greeted my teachers on Teachers Day. Okay, those are very, very good examples. So everyone greeted our teachers for being kind and responsible. That's from Pauline Ocampo. 
And from Regine, we have to appreciate our teachers because they are the one who help us in learning. Okay, all your answers are correct and we truly appreciate them. Remember, we will not be teachers if there are no students. Students. <laughs> so you are very, very essential. So next, in your sentences, of course, you made use of verbs. Now, what are verbs? Verbs are also known as action words. So anything that would give an action or would show an action is called a verb. Now, like, for example, jump, see, or mm -hmm. talk, right? So these are all examples of verbs. Now, for this afternoon, we will also be knowing more about it and also the tenses. Now, Tutor Arnel, what do we mean by tense? Well, of course, tense is the time expressed by a verb. Very good. So we are dealing here with, of course, three tenses of the verbs first when we speak of past tense, we have the following example like danced and lived. And then mm -hmm. if it's present tense, we say dance or live or dances or leaves, depending mm -hmm. on the number of the subject. And then if it's future, we say will dance or will leave. Mm -hmm. okay, so you see, we gave uh, uh, two words only. So you will really see the difference between the tenses so for this afternoon we will be discussing the simple past and the past perfect tenses but we will be focusing our examples or our discussion for simple past tense tutor Nell, can you please help me out with this slide all right so for the simple past and past perfect tenses they are both used to refer to actions which have already occurred in the past and now for the simple past tense, it is used to express action or state of being that happened at some definite past time. And for the past perfect tense, it expresses an action that has completed before another past action. Yeah, so we will be discussing this further in the next slides. Don't, for, uh, don't worry. So when we say the simple past is used to refer to actions which have already occurred in the past, we have this example. Mrs. Cruz attended her class last week. So there are two words there that are highlighted. Okay, First one is attended. So what do we mean by attendance? Attended, I mean. So this is our verb in the simple past tense. Now, mm -hmm. why? Or how do we say that it's in the simple past tense? Because there is a time expression. And it is very obvious that it happened already last week. So that mm -hmm. means it is already it already happened in the past. So that made it simple past tense. Okay. Now let's proceed with another example. This time it says Mrs. Cruz had dropped her purse before she attended her class last week. Now, this time we have two again, had dropped and attended. Now, both these words are verbs, okay? So, first, we have attended. Attended is in the simple past tense, okay? Mm -hmm. And then had dropped is what we call the past perfect tense. And it mm -hmm. expresses an action that was completed before another past tense action so don't forget that when we speak of a simple past it's just one action but when it's the past perfect tense we're dealing here with an action that mm -hmm. was completed before another past action so basing it on this particular example it means that mrs cruz had dropped that was her mm -hmm. first verb that was her first action before attended Yes. Okay, so you see that. Okay, so you will see that in a timeline, of course. So this would be our formula for the past perfect tense. As you look at it, the example, we will always be having the word had, okay, plus the past participle of the verb. So had dropped. Okay, now we have we still have some more examples here, so you will not get confused. Let's say, for example, the students had informed their teacher before they went to the canteen so we have two first is went that would be your simple past tense and then for the past perfect tense we had had informed can you give the second and the third examples tutor Arnel? 
All right, so for the second and for the third examples, the second sentence, John had written a letter before he called his sister. Now, in this sentence, the simple past tense is called, and the, the past perfect tense verb is had written. Now, the third and last would be mother had eaten her dinner when father came. The simple past tense is came, and past perfect tense is had eaten. So based on the form, you can easily identify whether it's simple past or past perfect tense, right? So mm -hmm. let us now begin with some more explanation so you will, will not be confused. Now, when we speak of verbs, of course, it may be regular or irregular. Now, when we say regular verbs, it means that all you need to do to form the past tense is you add D or ED to the main mm -hmm. verb. Examples for that would be smile. It will become smiled. And then for clean, it will be cleaned. And now for irregular verbs, you will have to make some changes in the spelling. Okay, mm -hmm. particularly this will be happening in the vowels. Like think will be thought and mm -hmm. choose will be chose. Okay, right. so don't forget that. Okay, now let's have our first activity to check whether you have really understood our Sent our, our lesson. Tutor Arnel, can you give the direction? All right. So, students, you are going to give the past form of the verb in the parentheses. Okay. So, let's have our first item. So, number one, last night I sleep very early. So, what will be the past form or the pa simple past form of the word sleep? Remember, the time is last night. Now, what mm -hmm. is the answer? Please write it on the comment section. Okay, mm -hmm. we now have very fast from Jerian and from Samantha. They say it is slept. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Let us check. Wow, congratulations. So it's the same thing with this. Desire and Angela and Rain, oh, they know about it already. Next, let's have number two. <laughs> Tutor Arnel, can you have number two, please? All right, students, ready your answers. The sentence is, we swim at the sea two summers ago. So what would be the verb for that? Yes, so number two, please don't forget to write number two so we won't be confused with your answers. So number two we have from Andre Dupan. He is saying it's swam, mm -hmm. okay? And so with Maria Eunice Lominoke and Isaac and Edward also and Jerion. So mm -hmm. let us see if that is correct. Very right. good. That is swam. Okay, good. Next, let's okay. have number three. For number three, I paint a scenery in my art class last Tuesday. What is the past tense of paint? Okay, let's see if they are already answering. Okay, so we now have answers here from Kyle. Sebastian is saying it's painted. And so with um, Jane, I think this is Jane Erica, mm -hmm. okay, painted. Samantha is also saying it's painted. And so with Arvik, let us see if that is correct. Very mm, good. That's, that's right. Painted. painted. So it's a regular verb. Okay, next, let's have number four, Tutor Nell. Now, for number four, students, ready your answers. I play the saxophone yesterday in my music class. So, what do you think is the answer here? You may start typing your answers. Yes, they are now. You know, our students are really key. What, what do you call that? That's keyboard warriors, right? Yeah. They're very <laughs> fast. They're very fast. No, we now have an answer here from Chanel and Judah also and John Louis and Keith. They're saying it's played. So mm. another regular verb. Is that correct? Let's check it very out. Good. That is That's correct. Right. That is played. So you just have to add ED. Next, mm. we have the last, uh, uh, the last item. After the test, I blank. An ice cold milk tea. Mm -hmm. That is very yummy, right? Yeah, I, I love test, that. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I would like to love it, but you know, I am diabetic and I cannot mm. drink it really. So, 
let's have the answers. That make me really sad. I cannot drink. <laughs> so let's now have, we have answers from Pauline and from Jane and from Ashley and from Eunice and Trisha. They're saying it's drank. Okay, let us check if their answer is correct. Yes, very wow, good. You got it drag. really, really nice. That's very nice. <laughs> they, so they got it. Now, if you got a five for our first activity, please react with a happy face. Again, please react with a happy face if you mm -hmm. got the words correctly for our first activity. So let us check if our comment section will be flooded with happy reacts if they got a perfect score so we now have our first happy face is from samantha, samantha followed by jewel, jewel. and margin and janiel and trisha mm -hmm. and jerian and judah and laurelin and chanel and ramiel and arvik and john kevin and rizel congratulations everyone congratulations. for all those happy faces <laughs> congratulations let's let's have another activity this one is evaluating your knowledge. So this time, we're just going to identify the past tense of the following verbs. Let's have our first word. The word is climb. What mm. is the correct answer for climb? What is the past tense for climb? So they are still commenting a lot of happy reacts. That only means mm -hmm. that they're really very happy for getting a perfect score. Right. That's very Klein. good. Yes, we now have an um, answer here from Jane Galang, and it's climbed. And also the same with Kyle. Let us check. Is that correct? Very good. That is climbed. Climbed. Next, let's have number two. Seek. What is the past tense, the simple past tense for the word seek? Seek. Yes, let's have their answers now. So they are still typing their answers for number one. And um, yes, they are all correct. They are all answering climb. Okay, we now do we now have answers here? So we have an answer from Margin, from Jerry Ann, and from um, yes, Margin and Princess also, and Zoe. But I haven't seen the correct answer yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are. Okay, now I see the correct answer. Congratulations, Arvik Erosa. You got the correct <laughs> answer. It is sought. Okay, that's good, Arvik. I am so proud of you. You got it well. So seek is sought. So the same with the other answers. Okay, we have Angela Pauline Best and Pauline Ramirez. Next, number three is talk. Mm -hmm. What is the answer or the simple past tense for the word talk? Okay, now let's see. Um, we have another watcher here from um, Batanga City, Santo Nino wow. National High School from Batanga City. That's Nina Pauline Balmeo Ebora. Hi, mm -hmm. and happy watching. Next, happy so watching. we now have for number three, our answers are all the same. They're saying it's talked. So just an addition of ED. That is very much correct. That right. is talked. Okay, another regular verb. Next, number four, Tutor Arnel. All right. So for number four, it's speak. What do you think is the answer for this verb, speak? Okay, that's a synonym for the word talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let us see if they know the answer. What is the past tense of speak? We now have an answer here from Samantha, from Regine, from Margin, from Jane also. And they say, they're say they saying it's spoke. Is that correct, Tutor Arnel? Is it spoke? All right. Let's see if it's the correct answer. You got it correctly. It's spoke. Yes, that is spoke. <laughs> Next, let's have the last item. Okay, the last item is strike. What is the correct past tense for strike? Okay, let us see their answer. Okay, let, let me check if there are already answers here. So they are still answering spoke for number four. <laughs> okay, and now we have an answer here from Jerian and from Margin and 
from uh, Darwin also. And I show it correct. Uh, I show the correct answer. It's from Trisha Cartagena. And she's saying it's truck. And the correct answer is struck. Very wow. good, Trisha. Very good. Congrats. I'm really proud of my students when they are getting the correct <laughs> answers. Okay. Thank you, Trisha, for posting the correct answer. So now we have five items. If you got a five, please um, react with a heart. Okay. If mm -hmm. you got a five for this activity, please react with a heart. Now let us see, Tutor Arnell, if we will be flooded with hearts here. And yes, it would seem I'm like waiting. a Valentine's <laughs> Day for Teacher's Day. We have our first heart from Jane. And our second is from Arvik. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also have Daphne and, Marie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, they are already flooding our comment section with hearts. So that only means one thing. They learned the lesson. And we can now move on to our next activity or our next slide so for generalizing learning can you please do the honor sir arnel all right so for the simple past let's always remember that it's a verb tense that is used to talk about something that happened or existed before now all right so of course time markers are also used in the simple past tense okay and for summarizing learning, verbs are action words and they have tenses. And action may happen in the past, the present, or the future. And verbs may either be regular or irregular. So don't ever forget that. Anyway, we're going to have a review next week about mm -hmm. that. And don't remember, I mean, remember those learnings. So as for our additional exercise, now this is a voluntary work, of course, if you would mm. like to improve yourselves more, okay, additional exercise will do. This will actually make you learn more about tense, uh, the past tense of the verb. It's a five item quiz. All you need to do is access the link or you mm -hmm. may scan the QR code is there. It's easier to scan the QR code, right? Okay, yeah. So instead of uh, remembering or typing the code, you just have to do something like this. So you're going to answer the exit assessment and you will know more about simple past tense of the verb. So let's give them a little time to uh, access the code first the, or scan the QR code. So mm -hmm. let us give them a few uh, a few min uh, uh, at least a minute for this while we're waiting for them to access let us have our uh, greetings first from uh, two hours students from Baruya High School S SDO Pampanga and thank you very much teacher Maureen P Carlos for yes. uh, letting or inviting your students to watch the e to Lie session for grade seven. And we promise you that they will really learn a lot. And <laughs> also, Teacher Maureen, happy Teacher's Day. Happy Teacher's and Day. I would also want to greet um, from Santo Nino Na National High School, that's from Batangas. Okay? Mm. Uh, happy Teacher's Day to all the teachers in Santo Nino National High School and Baruya High School in Pampanga. Mm -hmm. And of course, to all the teachers, the head teachers, and the principal, of course, of Mangahan High School, Mam Ma Vega, happy Teachers' Day, and to yes. my head teacher also, Mam Ma Aklan, <laughs> and of course to your head teacher also. Why don't you yeah, greet them, Tutor Arnel? Yeah, I would like to greet all of the teachers of uh, Nagpayong High School, especially in the English department. To our uh, school head, uh, Mam Ma Lorna C. Rodriguez, our principal and our head teacher. Uh, Ma'am Julieta F. De Ocampo, and our two master teachers, uh, Ma'am Mervyn and Sir Abelia. Happy yes. Teacher's Day, Paul. <laughs> and of course, to all the teachers from the Division of Pasig City, we give yes. you a special shout out for this Tuesday afternoon. Happy, happy Teacher's Day. And we are very much appreciating your work for our learners. Mm. Like what we say in DepEd, para sa bata. <laughs> Para, para sa bayan. Yes. So we can now move to our next slide. Now this will be your assignment for next meeting. So the directions will be to create 
a Teacher's Day appreciation post for Aww. a teacher who inspired you. Because we cannot really go to the school to greet them. So what you can do now, we use social media okay, That's to, right. to reach out to our teachers. Now, what you're going to do is to create that post and then tag that teacher on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And of course, because we are applying what we learned, we will be using past tense in your post. Okay? <laughs> now, how are you going to submit this? You do a screenshot of your post and then submit it to, of course, you can submit it to Tutor Grace. That's my official Facebook page. And mm -hmm. you can also send it to Tutor Arnell so we can be able to see who will be our next featured assignment, featured assignment who will also yeah, be receive our the amazing featured, badge <laughs> yes our featured duty of the week that that according to tutor Anel, of course you will be receiving your <laughs> amazing badge and because we value your feedback or your opinions of course we will also be asking you to evaluate us or to scan the qr code or copy the link Okay, that's the QR code. Of course, it's really easier. So evaluate this session honestly. And then you will just have to read carefully before you evaluate. Okay, so please scan the QR code now. Okay, let's just wait so they can scan the QR code. Okay, we really value and we really read your evaluation, whatever you see there on uh, on your evaluation is something that we really put in our hearts. Those are constructive criticisms and this will mm -hmm. make us better individuals, better teachers. Remember, better teachers will result to better learners. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think they are done. So let's now proceed. By the way, for all those people who are greeting us on our comments uh, comment section, Thank you very much for all your greetings. And Isaac Newton is saying, love you po, ma'am. Happy Teacher's Day. Wag na natin tuloy yung susunod. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, she had, pa she had pahabol naman. It's charot. Okay, that would do. Okay, thank you very much for all your greetings. And again, I am Tutor Drace from SDO Pasig. And of course, Tutor Arnell, also from SDO Pasig. And we will be with you once again on Tuesday. That's from 1.40 to 2.20 p.m. for mm -hmm. English 7. And these are the teachers of English for junior high school. We're one team ready to assist you in all your lessons in English. And thank you very much for being with us, for enjoying your stay mm -hmm. and learning with our Itulai online tutors, uh, online tutorial. So thank you, Tutor Arnel, for being with me today. And yeah, it's always next, a pleasure. Yes. Up next, we have Tutor Rubeline and Tutor Jovi for English 8. Please do watch mm -hmm. them also, and you will learn from them. And bye, Tutor Arnel, and happy Teacher's Day again. Happy bye, Teacher's everyone. Day. <laughs> bye. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!